Am I even recording? I hope I am. Wow. I think I am. Hi, y'all. It's Sophie. Well, today we're going to recreate a look that I asked y'all on Instagram. The pink and purple glossy eyes look. So, if you want to get your makeup brushes, grab a snack. Let's go ahead and get started. So, voy a entrar con el Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. Como les había dicho antes, este fue el que compré en el color negro en vez de café. Así que siempre tengo que entrar un poco con cuidado para que no me quede negra la ceja. Yeah, I need eyebrow help, guys. I don't like my brows with this black pencil. Finally, tengo otro corrector. El Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. ahora es entrar con el Orly Los Angeles Party Animal con el color morado y el rosita pero no voy a entrar con un color clarito para sellar el corrector así que esto creo que le va a ayudar para que pigmente más también entrar con el rosita en las orillas como perdimos un poco del morado es que no, le vamos a retocar ok, vamos a entrar otra vez con el concealer and a flash shader brush and we're going to cut through that crease Este está un poquito más difícil hacerlo, aplicarlo directamente en el párpado porque está tan grande. ojos listos vamos a sellar eso con un color neutral un color de nuestra misma piel así que yo voy a tomar este del Urban Decay um, Nocturnal Shadow Box just gonna get it with my finger el look se hace glossy usando estos dos productos el Stila Peach Pretense? I think that's how you say it. And the cover FX Shimmer Veil in. Dude, I suck at reading English. Like, I'm so bad at it. In. Amethyst? I think? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think that's how you say it. 
primero voy a estar tomando el de Cover FX, que es un poquito más rosado y morado. Y eso lo voy a estar aplicando en la parte de afuera. Ahora vamos a tomar el Stila y lo vamos a poner en la parte de adentro. So there we go, that's how to get your glossy, your glossy eyelids. So the fun part, so for me, the fun part is gonna be putting the eyeliner. Compré este set en Amazon, so I'll link it down below just so you know. And I actually found out about these through another YouTuber, and I'll link her down below as well. It was $22, but it's a 12 pack, so I think it was a pretty good deal. Y los colores se ven tan bonitos en los ojos cuando los usan. Ahorita vamos a estar usando el morado. When I tell you technology is not my thing. Me hice el delineador. And there's no file. I wasn't recording. Usé el morado que venía en el paquete de 12 y me delineé los ojos. So, ¿qué más hice? Me puse el Elf Poreless Face Primer and I fixed my eyebrows. Okay, now we're back on track. So now with foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Candid Foundation. It's a natural all finish, so um, it's, I'm not looking for like a total cool coverage kind of thing right now. I'm gonna go in with the foundation and I'm gonna go in with this brush. Um, if I don't like how it looks with the brush, I'm always just gonna use a sponge on, over top of it. pretty don't know if I would like it over the sponge I'll do sponge one half and then foundation the other half maybe that way I can actually compare it up again redraw my brow oh my goodness oh my goodness maybe not maybe not let's brush it off brush it off there we go okay sponge ¿Qué lado les gusta mejor? Este es el lado de la brocha y este es el lado de la esponja. I think the sponge side gives it more coverage. Like clockwork, the mega glow. Contouring palette from When Wild and Dulce de Leche. You can see, I love it so much, it's like breaking apart.
I don't know how I feel about these brushes. They're like, I don't know, like dense, I guess. They look super dense, right? But they don't hold their shape. As soon as you move it, like everything goes everywhere. So I don't know how I feel about them. From Re Makeup Revolution, the Pro HD Amplified Palette. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this one and a little bit of that one and I might mix the pinkies and the purplies from that one. I think this one has a purple. like a stroke right there just like a line don't worry we always blend it out with the um the setting spray and our sponge let's lock it in oh i'm running low Okay, we're gonna finish the lower lashes. So purple. And a little bit of pink. BH Cosmetics Crash, which is a deep purple. Wow, my lips look very pointy. I can't fix it. This one's like been through everything. All right, let's see. I'm so ready for fall. I mean, I love. Me encanta usar colores brillantes, pero aún me encanta más los oscuros. From the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects in the shade Monarchy, and I'm pretty sure I said that one right. <laughs> Put lashes and then we're done. Okay, we're gonna go in with the Vita Mora lashes and the style. I don't know, they have four different shades, shades, styles, and it's not D1 or D2, so I don't know if it's D3 or D4, but it's one of those two. I'm sorry, I take forever on everything, but these are it. Don't they look so pretty? I look like a vampire, guys. I just realized that. Now that I'm looking at them, these do not look like the Titamora lashes. These might be kids' lashes and I might have just misplaced them. Oh, well, they do pop up. I mean, not as thick, but they're pretty. I should put this away from my eyes, huh? Ooh. Okay. Let's finish off with like something done to my hair because you now I know. I hope you are too. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya. Probably shouldn't kiss my lips. <laughs> Bye.